Have you ever met a man that can fly through the sky with a speed around 200 kilometers an hour? A man crazy enough to dream about flying a highly flammable suit in between fire bursts higher than a normal home? We did. And we have witnessed someone doing something that has never been done before. CFX Studios presents... It all started when JP asked us to come to Italy and capture this dream he had for a while. We embarked on a journey, but we still had no idea how big this dream actually was, and what we were about to witness. They come. I'm from Holland, and um, in Holland I'm a stunt performer. I'm a stuntman and a fire performer, and I'm a dreamer. And that's uh, yeah one of the talents I have because I love living and I love being around the mountains and base jumping, and uh, I love extreme sports. Those are really my talent, my gig. That's the why I am here on this planet. So yeah, we're here in uh, in Italy, and. Um, we got to make magic. My dream is wanted to be an astronaut. And then I saw I was stupid enough to not be able to catch that dream. And then I was like, why do I want to be an astronaut? Is that because I want to be in space or... But then I found it. I just wanted to fly. best way to fly and you have paragliding you have all these other sports where you just pull ropes and stuff but I want to fly my body I don't want to fly anything else so what you get is that you um, go skydiving go jump out of airplanes because that's where you can actually fly your body there's not another sport that can fly only this body the flying a wingsuit that's is flying your body but with a little, little bit of an add-on and really, and you can go over the earth like super fast, but also super agile. And I really, really fell in love with that. And that's yeah, where my dream started. Then the time came to go to the flyby spot for the first time. JP seems like a crazy dude risking his life. And I mean, he kind of is a crazy man, but he's calculated. He knows all the risks. He talked about every second of the operation itself and wanted to make sure everyone knew what to do and when to do it. JP is not the kind of man to go in blind in operations like this. He visualized every millisecond of it, every turn and every drop. We all need to be on the same page while working on that mountain while he and his buddy Chris are risking their lives for JP's dream. When we stood on that mountain as a team, it was time to visualize that crazy dream for the first time together. Last years I did uh, several different dreams. One of the dreams was put a Russian swing on top of a rock in Norway. Then I did a blob, but then I, I did a fire breathing base jump because I thought well, combining my talents with my passions make my dream come true. So yeah, we went to see what it takes to come here in Italy and, and, and to have all this stuff here. And uh, uh, it takes a lot of uh, energy and a lot of uh, dedication, but at the end, um, we're gonna make some beautiful things happen. Exactly that dream, which I've been having for hundreds and hundreds of time, flying in between flames. That's what we're trying to make happen here in Italy.
Today is the big day. Today we're gonna make my dream come true. And I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Ah, I cannot wait to get up the mountain and to go and make this happen. Everything is set up. Everything is... Uh, I, no words come too short to know what it is to make your dreams reality. So yeah, I'm very psyched, very stoked. My sleep, my sleep was was very nice. I had the dream again last night. So yeah, this was this is amazing. I, I can't wait to get up the mountain and feel the tension rise and then have the moment right there. Uh, my name's Chris Burns. I'm from Australia and I'm a wingsuit pilot. Uh, JP's been a friend for many years, and uh, we've been together with some really fun adventures. And when he sent me a message, I was like, dude, whatever it is, the answer is yes. And uh, I'm super glad I said yes, because it's turned into some really fun adventures. The thing is, I'm a dreamer, but I make my dreams reality. But I think for even a grandma, 95 years old, she might have dreams too. Why could not she be passionate about whatever? Knitting or whatever, if she wanted to do something. And I think very few people have dreams. Very few people actually live. Because they're all working, 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 and doing what they don't like. I'm, I love people to be inspired about the stuff we do to actually make their dreams come true. So, here we are. Setting up everything to fulfill JP's dream. Things become really real fast when you know within a few hours someone is gonna risk his life even more than normal when he's wingsuiting. Because, let's be real here, this is dangerous. One small error is the difference between life and death. For normal people like me, and probably you, this feels out of our reality. But if JP learned me anything, it is that everything you see is achievable for all of us. As long as we have the right mindset. We did the dry run and the first test jump was, uh, was a very, very big success. We had the pyrotechnics at the bottom. We had the camera crew there. Uh, we had Chris and I lining up quite well. We have some small pointers that we want to do better, but we feel very happy about the first result and the first lines we flew. We were very close to the ground uh, because we were so energetic and full of confidence that we flew two meters above a tree, which is exactly our mark. And uh, we're very happy. So this is happening. Oh, I can't wait, dude. It's actually happening. If there is any reason that we should abort, yeah, talk to Arjen and Arjen is gonna, I, does have contact with me. If we hear an abort, yeah, you will see me go to the left and just fly towards the landing area. Yep. Um, if everything goes well, then uh, I'll hear an okay from Arjen. Um, over the phones when I'm under canopy, I know, I, I wanna know whether Chris is under canopy and I know if everyone here is okay. So give a big okay shout uh, to him, especially you because he can't see you. Yeah. Yeah. 
then if something happens, yeah, for whatever reason, Linda, you can be ready to go to the car to the bottom, yeah, to help any of us. Uh, you will hear that via Arjan, which I'm talking to. Um, if anything happens on top, uh, you'll be the driver to the local uh, hospital. Yeah. Um, any add-ons? Fine. Especially you don't panic. Yeah. If anything happens, um, he's he's the first man. He knows what to do. Uh, so he's gonna tell. Okay, go in there. Go this situation. Yeah. You're gonna look up the nearest hospital on your phone and and, and pinpoint it. Um, any other add-ons? Uh, no. What do you, in case, uh, I have to ask, in case anything goes wrong, what do you want from us? Do you want the cameras to keep rolling? Do you want us to shut them off? Mm. I want to leave that with you guys. That'd be cool footage though. Yeah, <laughs> keep rolling, man. Keep yeah. rolling, yeah, I'm go for it. For anything to have maybe on camera, for sure. Yeah. No worries. Okay. Yeah, no worries. So... Anything for you, Chris, to add on? No, pretty chill, man. Looks like it's a pretty tight ship that you're operating here, so let's send it. Let's do it. The way it is in my brain, I'm... Oh my God. Look, this is, well, this is what happened. You're standing on the edge of the cliff. Yeah. You have to uh, breathe slowly, because if you breathe harder, then your heartbeat goes up. I mean, it, your heart rate is it's pretty high up there. So, I'm stood on the edge, and I was like, get my breathing down, get my breathing down, refocused, put, put, flew my line in my head, and then the moment was there. So the pyro went way up, so we went through through the pyro, and then the flames were a bit late, but I saw the little, like, last part of the flames, and I went through, and, and actually I was like, oh, what the hell happened there? Uh, obviously I got, like, uh, concentrating on flying myself, putting myself in the right spot, being safe, and then also taking the shots. And then as we come up, and when that first pyro run starts, it's just like my vision just went into slow motion. I'm gonna fly through the pyro, man. So it's like split second, do I keep the shot? And I, I ducked my head and flew through it. Yeah, but it was a really special experience. It's just like adrenaline vision. It was just coming up and then just instantly just like slow motion. It was amazing. This, this thing about dreaming is you have a mental picture and I want to have the mental picture right there. My mental picture was flying right next to a big column of fire. Yeah, feeling the heat, feeling the air around the fire like go wobbly because that's what it, do, what it does, go turbulent. And the flames were there, but they were too early. So I was too late, so I want to have that mark. So what are we gonna do? We gotta do the whole thing again because I have a thing in my head and I wanna accomplish it. So I'm, I'm not an easy guy. I wanna have it like the way I want it. So now we're gonna uh, have the pyro later, but focus on the flames because that's my exact dream. I wanna go, flames go up and the moment flames go up, I wanna pass through and then feel the fire next to me. That's what I wanna do. So we're gonna go up the mountain again, and make ready for take two.
amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's really <laughs> fucking cool jump, dude. Ah. Woo. Yeah. Now, oh. my day. Me and my buddy JP. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, we were talking about the, the fire columns and stuff, man. I went off, and this is even worse because at the last second only then the fire goes up. So we were flying, 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 nothing, 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 and it's like, oh, the fire needs to go. And exactly at the moment that he pushed the button, the fire technician guy pushed the button. <laughs> Flames went up, and I felt the turbulence, which I knew was going to come. I felt the, the air get wobbly, and I felt on one side, <laughs> big flame. And on the other side, there was a big calm or something. And I didn't know what it was. And then I saw that one of the burners didn't go off completely, but the gas expanded in the air. And that was a, a real cool feeling because you had the heat of the fire on one side and the cold of the pure gas on the other side. It was a super nice feeling of, of flying through. And the timing was, was perfect. So I'm very happy. This is where we succeeded on my dream. So yes, thank you, Universe. Thanks for everyone. My dream became reality. It's been amazing. The very professional setup. These guys run a tight ship. JP's very organized. Uh, all the film and all the crew and everybody that's been involved. It's just been very professional, very wonderful. And so for me, it's just been easy to go along with the ride and just be able to focus on what I need to do, which is just getting the shots in the air and try and help out where I can. So it's been a really smooth production and I really hope to work with these guys again in the future on some, and, or, you know, on some more cool stunts. That's it. We've just witnessed a professional daredevil accomplish one of his dreams. This whole adventure made me think about my goals and dreams and why do we do what we do? You know, having the honor to spend time with my buddy JP and the whole crew made me think about all that. And I encourage you to do the same. Seeing two amazing guys so alive while risking that same life at the same time is inspiring. JP and Chris taught me to look up more and appreciate more to see life through the lens of a professional dream chaser every chance I get. This trip was technically a challenge for us, seeing as the audio didn't want to work as we would want it to and other annoying stuff we had zero control over. But these guys don't do grumpy vibes. We just had to take a breather and appreciate what transpired around us. If I took away anything from this trip, it is that if JP can fulfill multiple dreams per year, we all can. But it's all about the mindset. JP isn't very different from me and you, but he sees life through a different lens. Let me ask you this, are you watching this and do you truly feel happy? Do you feel alive and are you enjoying what you're doing? Or do you feel like you're missing out on actually chasing your dreams? If the latter is the case, I just need to ask you to start doing what you want to do. Surround yourself with people like I did on this trip. Take it all in and stop watching. Let's all start doing.